What's up guys? Shark here with another goddamn motherfucking video. Today is my first time doing a story video. Yay, yay, yay. Anyway. Uh I don't know. Um I just felt like doing a story. I mean I, I always wanted to become a commentary channel, but never thought I could. So, my first commentary type video will be a story time, alright? Anyway, let's get right into the video. Alright, so my first story is about... Basically, it's about how I almost had, um, almost had sex in the back of a bus when I was 11 or 12. I think I was 11, alright? Now... <laughs> This may sound like a joke, but I'm not kidding, okay? I, I almost fucked a girl in the back of a um, in the back of a bus when I was 11 or 12. I'm I I go in special ed, okay? <laughs> Make fun of me in the comments if you guys feel like it. Go fuck off. I was in. I I went to a special bus, okay? Like you know that really small bus, okay? Special. Oh, fuck, I forgot what the hell it's even called. God damn, I need a fucking phone, man. Cause, oh, fuck, I just, ripped the, I just ripped my phone out of the fucking charger. Give me a second. I swear to God, it's called Special Light. I don't know for sure, though. Yeah, it is called Special Light. Uh, I should probably delete that out of my um, search history, you know? I mean, I don't want to sound illiterate, but you know what I mean, bro? Um, nah, but, um... Man, so okay now for like the hundredth time, me and this girl, we almost fucked in the back. We were almost fu we almost fucked in the back seat of a school bus. We knew the cameras were broken in that school bus, and there I, I don't think there were cameras in the school bus. I think there was one because of how small it was. But I don't think yeah it, I know for sure that there were cameras in there. It was broken. That was either the first time I did it, I actually did do it, or the time I almost did it, okay? I'll do the story where I actually did it. I think I was like, I, I was around 10. So, I, I was like around 9 or 10. I think I was 9, because I, <laughs> yeah, I had it happen, 9. Okay. Time, I need to, I need to stop confusing myself, okay? I did that the last time I tried doing one of these like a year ago, and I just decided not to even upload the video because I confused myself so much. Okay, but now like now with the magic of editing, this woman exists. Uh, and if it does, um, sorry. Anyway, my first day of school, I went ahead dated a girl. Um, let's just call her Rachel. Okay, Rachel went ahead. Um, we went out. She at the end of the day. Okay, first day I was like eyeballing because I'm like, shit, everybody here looks ugly as fuck. <laughs> um, anyway, there was only two girls in the class. Everybody else was a guy. We were in our special ed class and shit. And I'm over here looking around in class. I'm like, shit. I'm, okay, I'm like thinking in my head. I'm like, I, I, I'm like, before I went to school, I'm like, I'm going to see if I can get myself a girl first day of school, okay? What happened? It did, but wait. Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> this is before I looked fat and ugly. So, um, yeah, that that's that's life. Um, so we went ahead. I, I went ahead and looked. I was I was looking around the classroom. Like where all the girls at? There was only two. The first one, she was nice, but like she wasn't really my type. Like now, when I say my type, I don't. I kind of go for looks, but. At the same time, I don't only go for looks. I go, I go for personality and looks. I'm a very fuck. I'm a very specific man. All right, very specific. I go for that personality and the looks. All right, that's all. Okay, personality and looks. I go, I go for only that. I think those are like the only thing people care about anyway. But <laughs> I go for them both. Uh, the first girl, her personality, I mean, she looked, she looked all right, but her personality was too nice for me, okay? Because 
if I had a breakup with her, if I had a breakup with a really nice girl, I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna have to break up with her, okay? So, yeah. 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 Anyway, take that out. Um, anyway, if I, if I did a nice girl, I don't know how I would break up with her, so I was like, I can't date her, I'm sorry, and plus, she probably doesn't even like me anyway. Uh, so I found, I found the, um, the other girl in the other, in the classroom, she looked hot as fuck, somewhat, I mean, she was alright, like, if I had to choose between, between, like, one in a hundred, I would probably choose maybe around, like, a 93, 94, maybe 95, if I had to go any higher, like, maybe, like, a 94 or 95, okay, that's, that's, that was her looks, okay, I haven't seen her personality yet, so I was just thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, well, I'll, I'll meet her after class, all right, <laughs> I, I didn't meet her after class, um, I actually met her at the end of the day, like, at the end of the class, she, she was looking at me, okay, she was looking at me first, so I looked that way, I'm like, okay, she's she's pretty good. She's pretty good looking, all right? I, I, I'll think about it. But she looked at me, and I looked at her, and then she looked away. So what I did was walk away. I mean, after class, I obviously left. And I obviously left to go eat um, lunch. And then after that, she wasn't there anymore. And then she wasn't there. She came to class late. I didn't know why, but I didn't give a shit, obviously. But um, after she came back, I we both looked, we both um, we both we both basically crossed. She like she walked across my desk, looking at me. I looked at her, and then the teacher started talking. And then he had me read. Um, yeah, I, I was probably like the only kid in that class that actually knew how to fucking read. I didn't need anybody correcting me, but that's just me saying. But, <laughs> anyway, at the end of the class, no, at the end of the class, it was actually at the end of the day, at the end of the school day, <laughs> was what the fuck I mean, she went ahead, she goes ahead, walks up to me, she goes ahead and asks, she, she will go ahead and ask me, um, that I think she said, like, she was asking me a bunch of questions, like, how was, like, how was my day at my, how was my first day of school? I said it was great. And then she came out of nowhere with the second fucking question out of fucking nowhere. She comes out of nowhere and just says, uh, is there anybody in our class that you, um, that, that you liked, that, that you think looks nice? I said, no lie, it's actually you. <laughs> my dumb, my dumb asses went ahead and sure just said like, no lie, you're actually hot as fuck. <laughs> I didn't say hot as fuck like that, but not, I said, no lie, um, I think it's you. You're like probably the only good looking one over here. In this class. Um, she seemed nice and all, so not too nice, like the um like the first girl, which is why I didn't go out with her, but she seemed nice. And I'm uh, pretty cool. She was like probably like the she was probably like one of the smartest kids in the class anyway, too. So like but that was before that was like after all that. But anyway, I leave. I um I go ahead and tell my mom. I said, Told you. Um, I'm get, I, I got a girl. I already got a girl on my first day of school. So she goes ahead. <laughs> she says, "God damn, that's too early." Like she she said I like, she said that like she was shocked. She shouldn't have been shocked. God damn. Let's just skip past like maybe a month and a half of our relationship. This kid, he's like a new kid. Um, no, you're probably thinking like, oh shit, she cheated, shit. No, that's a different story for a different time, and that was also like, in a completely different school. Okay, like, a few months um, after we started going out, like, not a few months, a month and a half after we started going out, a new kid came into the class, came into the class, and just in case you guys are thinking that, um, she cheated, she surprisingly didn't, and that's surprisingly not the reason why we broke up. Um, we broke up because I was a fucking dumbass, and, and at the same time, I mean, I was more of a fucking jerk back then, but at the same time, I probably needed to break up with her anyway, because she was, you'll see, um, you'll, you'll hear, 
Okay. <laughs> okay. So she bas she her and this other kid who just happened to become my friend afterward. He just happened to become my friend. Like he started growing on me, like becoming my friend. So and then after that he started like I, I don't know if you would exactly call it bullying, but like more towards like playfully annoying her like annoying her but like not trying to bully her i don't know if you guys know what i mean but i don't know he's i didn't ca i didn't catch the joking part because at the time i was that one kid probably since the seventh grade and all the way uh, no since eighth grade and all the way under okay eighth grade and, and lower i was just that kid who always got expelled from school from fights okay so, because I think I was in special ed because I have some, some fucking serious anger issues, okay? I think that's why I was in special ed because I got expelled so many fucking times. And I think they just went ahead and threw me in another class because maybe because I got too angry around too many people. But, you know, <laughs> anyway. Anyway, this kid, um, after she told me, she didn't, I don't know if she caught the fact that, she, that he was just trying to, I don't know, playfully mess with her. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means, but he's messing with her, but not trying to bully her, okay? It's just, there, there's a difference somewhere in there. I'll look it up in a dictionary somewhere, okay? Goddamn. But, please do, please do the same. But, she told me that he was um, messing with her. And then after that, like, she told me he was messing, she, she told me he was messing with her. I confronted him. He said, all right, all right. I'll back off, shit. And then we went to like the computer labs, and um, still, he. Okay, so I'm over here sitting with my girlfriend. We're over here sitting like all the other side by ourselves at the um. We're in this long ass table by ourselves because there's so many other tables. Um, it's like a library slash um computer labs. Instead, we didn't feel like playing the games. I mean, I did, but I just wanted to hang out with her more. So she wanted to she wanted to read books. I went over there and I um I read some books with her, cause she um she wanted me to. I didn't want to, but she wanted me to, so I said fuck it, why not? And anyway, the new kid at the time, the new kid goes ahead and um he yells out her name. She answers kindly, and then he just starts. I guess at this point you can call it bullying. He basically. He basically just annoys the fuck out of her. And then almost to the point where it literally pisses me off. It's like, he clearly knows that I'm going to fuck his ass up now. And then I literally threatened him like three or four fucking times. And then he still keeps talking to her. He's, he's ignoring me. And he's just talking shit to her. So what I do is um pretty fucking brutal, okay? For um for 11 or 12 year old me, okay? It was pretty fucking brutal, all right? So what I did was the desk with the computers on it. I got him. I socked him one like once or twice, I think. I believe it was once I socked him in the face, and that literally fucking body slammed his ass through the fucking table with the fucking computers on it. And then, basically, after that, I got on top of him, I socked him in the fucking chest, and then I put him in a fucking chokehold. And then, everybody's even calling out, including my girlfriend, she's like, everybody's fucking calling out, um, all the fucking, like, teachers and everything, they bring out fucking security and shit, then I'm gonna fucking kill this kid, okay? And, um, they all come out, and they fucking grab me, and, like, th they throw my ass. And um, I get my ass up and I'm running over the way over there, about to punch him more, some more. They go ahead and like they separate us, and uh, basically we, I'm, I'm, um, ex I think I'm suspended for like I think a week or two. Okay, <laughs> he didn't, he didn't get suspended um, either. So uh, I don't know if he got suspended, but I believe he did. I believe he did get suspended for fuck's sakes. Anyway. Anyway, she, uh, my girlfriend, after I came back, she hugged me, she kissed me on the cheek. I think later that day, I believe it was that day, otherwise I wouldn't be talking about it. 
but I'm just trying to say what led it to it, all right? But I believe it was like that day or like around that week, and um, she noticed that we were in this classroom by herself because it was diff- it was during recess. Now these two these two classrooms were like cr- like right next to each other, and there was like doors leading to each classroom. So we went into the other classroom where it was completely dark. And I guess that the teachers, like, I guess you can say that she's her, she's the teacher's pet, all right? She, she basically, she basically, like, she's allowed to go in there without being supervised and nobody else is allowed to. And I guess that since I was really close, like, close to her and they know that, I guess they let me go in there too, which, oh, shit. If the blinds were closed, there probably would have been a lot more. Um, a lot more would have probably went, um, went down. Um, she didn't close the door either. Like, she didn't close the door between the other through two, all right? And also, the blinds were open, and kids were walking fucking by. Like, I think it was, like, fourth or fifth... I believe it was, like, fourth or fifth graders just walking past, coming from the cafeteria, um, going back to their classes. And she goes ahead, and, like, she fucking flashes me for the fucking longest time and walks up to me and says, um, you want some? I said, God damn, I want some. Um, and, um... Right before I can even get a chance to even say, oh, yeah, I want some. Right before I can even say that, um, she goes ahead and flash her tits. Before I can even say, oh, yeah, I want some. A kid outside, because they're all walking past. Thank God the teachers are fucking ahead. If they're way ahead and it's a long-ass fucking classroom. I doubt it's this one class. I think it was just, I don't fucking know. Um, thank God the teachers were ahead. Because um, that just that one kid, I think he showed his shown his friend he he was just pointing he was like holy shit holy fuck they're about to fuck right there dude let's stay here and watch and they like one of them like that that kid who um yelled that out just like stood there and looked like dead at her tits and i was like okay, I'm like, okay girl we gotta go okay <laughs> let's get the fuck out of here uh this is too much <laughs> she said she, she goes ahead and like she stops flashing and then uh, we both get out um, we both basically walk out of the classrooms fast. Um, the teacher is probably fucking suspicious. We both we we both we basically walk through the class that we came from, our class, and then we go out out of that class, and then we walk towards the cafeteria. Now towards the cafeteria, there's a bunch of like there was like four um, little buildings there, and um, we went ahead and. Um, we we were going to make out, but we decided not to. I don't. Anyway, we um we decided not to. We went ahead and just like hung out at recess, and um that's just me telling you guys that she flashed me. Um, I think like about like maybe like around like it, maybe like a, like half a month later. I would say like half a month and a quarter later. I don't know if I can really say that, but like maybe like a half a month or more. She, we go on the bus, um, and we're sitting right next to each other. And by the way, this, if you guys don't fucking know, seats have two seats. And the bus driver never never let us sit next to each other because she they the bus driver always said that. My girlfriend was a bad influence. Um, I always looked at her and I said, I'm pretty sure I'm the bad influence. All right? I'm pretty sure I am. I, I didn't say that, but I wanted to. I think I said that once, but whatever. Um, my girlfriend says, all right. But at that time, like at that exact moment, like the day I said that we almost fucked behind a, we almost fucked behind a bus, that's the day I'm talking about now. Um, she let us sit next to each other, finally. All the way in the back. Well, not all the way in the back, but, like, two seats. Before getting all the way in the back, where two seats cover us, basically. Um, both seats cover us. Like, if I wanted to lay down, I can lay down fully. And she would only see my feet. Alright? Especially at that time, I was not really that tall. I was pretty fucking short. Um, she would only see my feet. And she, she can get on top of me and fucking, like, bounce on my fucking dick. And the, the bus driver wouldn't even fucking know. Okay? 
it's kind of weird how I'm talking about like 11 year old me and shit and 11 year old my girlfriend which she probably was 10 or I don't know if she was older than me or younger than me we're probably around the same age but I don't, I don't fucking know um we we didn't do that by the way that's why the um, title on YouTube is gonna be almost had sex with a girl at 11 years old <laughs> Anyway, um, before we, we were about to get ready to fucking start, we are about to get ready to start fucking banging like fucking crazy, like, banging like no fucking tomorrow, alright? And, um, what happens is, um, we're, we're the last two people on the bus, there was one person who just got dropped off, it's like, we're over here, um, already, like, thinking, I'm like, she's really, really close to me, we're sitting basically in one seat but you already know that the back seat is like one whole seat but we're basically sitting um so close to each other that it might as well just be one seat and um she's about to get ready to sit on my dick um i'm about to get ready to pull down my pants she's about to get ready to pull down her pants i'm about to get ready to stick her she's about to get ready to feel it we're about to get ready to play some darts and i'm about to um oh, wow that, that almost went wrong um she almost ride my bull um anyway i don't know i don't really know that much all right god damn but what happens um is that just about as when i pulled down my pants her house my dumbass didn't realize was right around the corner yes right around the corner right before we're about to get ready to fuck right around the corner and guess who's waiting outside her mom and her dad and I think she had two brothers. Her mom, her dad, and I think her two brothers were waiting outside. I'm happy that they didn't see what we're doing because, fuck, I probably would have got my ass jumped because we're, Palmdale's a small ass city, all right? All right? <laughs> and um, the fact that we go both go to school and the fact that um, I also found out that um, she lives right next to the school, it's just that because she's the second to the last person to get dropped off, um... Uh, it's like right across a bunch of sand. It's like a big ass desert that the um, bus can um, drive through. And of course, she has to go all the way around while dropping a bunch of other kids off. But anyway, right before we came and fuck, her um, house is right around the corner from my um. I had a friend who was um in the school, and his house is like right around the corner, um from hers. And I completely fucking forgot, and we're about to get ready to fuck as soon as he got off. I'm bare, I'm over here pulling down my fucking pants and um she's about to already do it too and then we go around her stop. Um I guess she forgot too, so I guess I can just say that we forgot. Cuz I don't know how she wouldn't have forgot because um there's no way she doesn't know for sure about her house. I'm the one here with um, low memory, okay? Like I have short-term memory loss and I probably have the worst case of it, okay? I forget shit like every fucking minute. Like if I'm about to get ready to tell you guys some shit, that's why I've been like mumbling a lot of my shit lately. If I'm about to get ready to say some shit, I'm like the worst person to ever tell a story, huh? If um I'm about to get ready to tell you guys something, somebody interrupts me. Let's say like a couple seconds go by, I'm already like thinking about something else. And then as soon as they go back to me, like, okay, what were you gonna say? I fucking forgot. God damn, like and then, like, a whole, like, a whole day later, I'm like, that's right. I was going to say this, man. Um, I almost fucked a girl um, in the back of the school bus at 11, all right? <laughs> Fifth grade. I mean, sixth grade. Goddamn. <laughs> all right. Um, no. We went ahead, and um, we already had our first kiss at the time. By then, we already had our first kiss. I didn't say it because it wasn't really a kiss. It was more of a... Let's just slap lips and then walk away. That's more. That's that's what it was. Okay, we just uh, and then walked away. That that's what that's what it was. So I'm not even counting that she has a kiss. Uh, so what we did before we went to her stop, we pulled our pants back up. I had a belt. Obviously, of course, I had to have a belt. Thank God the bus was long enough for her not for the bus driver not to hear it. I will, I go ahead and um button my um belt. I pull my pants up, button my belt, and um. What she like my butt my belt isn't even fully like on, okay? 
my pants like my pants are like aren't even on all the way like have you ever jerked off in a fucking bathroom i'm just saying to anybody who's a fucking like who's like the biggest fucking virgin um i'm not a virgin all right i'm just saying like if you ever jerked off and walked out um and your pants look like they're just fucking sagging like crazy like one side sagging and one side's like almost all the way up that's how mine was so when i walked up the bus she's, um the bus driver just straight up came out of nowhere and Right before I can walk out of the bus, um, she said, you guys can't sit next to each other anymore. I'm like, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, shit. And then um, I, just, I just go ahead and walk out without saying anything. So, yeah, basically, that's my first time telling a story, all right? Anyway, um, if you're watching this shit, <laughs> I don't know. I can't really think of any other fucking stories, to be honest, besides the ones that um, I, I can tell my first time getting beat the fuck up. Like, my first time losing a fight, I can tell that. Is I've been fighting since I was like five, I believe. No, I think, yeah, it was like around five, five or younger. It had to have been five. It was like around five. I did like when I was like five years old. I did like knock a fucking kid out because he was talking shit to my girlfriend at the time. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess you can say if there's any fucking girls out there, fucking hit me up. I'll protect you from fucked up guys. All right. So let me know if someone's fucking with you, okay? And um, don't take it to the point where, like, your dad's, um, let's say your dad's talking shit to you. And you're like, my, uh, that guy's messing with me, all right? I don't feel like getting my ass beat by some guy in the military, all right? I don't want to get beat by some guy in the military, all right? Shit. I keep mumbling my fucking words, all right? <laughs> but I'm just saying, all right, I'm already dating a girl. I'm dating a girl right now. Uh, Pretty good relationship so far. Hopefully she doesn't cheat on me. Hopefully. But... You know, uh, maybe I'll tell a story about um, a girl um, that um, cheated on me, all right, in the future, all right? All right. Um, to anybody out there on YouTube, um, this is the end of the fucking video. I'm just going to finish this video by... I'm just going to finish the stream by just fucking around in um, director's mode, all right? But... For anybody else on YouTube, please do me a fucking favor and...